A very warm welcome to the east side of the patio. It is so good to have you here. A much anticipated week, but at the same time, a very much dreaded week is behind me. And I thought I would either talk you through it or show you through it <laughs> by way of images. To say that my body is broken is an understatement. For that reason, we are going to take this little video very slowly. I'll leave you with more visual impressions, but we are at least, at least at this stage of the growing season where my orchids can be on the east side for now. Because when I started this week, <laughs> oh goodness me, when I started this week, I had no idea what three weeks ahead of us will have in store for us as far as weather is concerned and the temperatures are apparently going to drop at night once again and here we are with the kiddos on the east side during those temperature drop days we are also going to have cloudy days so it's not as if the terracotta can compensate because of the sun warming it up it's going to be a little bit uh, let me just say the usual anxiety inducing but i'm not going to be bringing these orchids inside and out not anymore there will be orchids that have to come inside like my phalaenopsis pulchra or my tolumnias but for the most part what I can tell you is this is it and we're just going to have to ride it out. The reason my renantheras are not on the east side yet is because of that forecast. I usually have them on the lower shelf of the east side and the temperatures are wonderful to get them acclimated. You can see it's not a full sunny day today which is perfect to harden orchids off slowly to the intense light that they will be experiencing even though they will be behind a curtain for the most part. However, with those low temperatures ahead, I am not bringing the renanthras outside they have fared so well on the lower shelf indoors i do not want to risk anything and then of course in and out in and out anyway you know the spiel because i wasn't just busy on the patio this week i was dividing my time between what i needed to do on the patio to get this all set up and also indoors <laughs> yes i have a habit of standing in my own way but despite feeling the way i feel knowing i would feel this way i still make myself a list for every day of the week so that I would plot through that and get things done, which did not include filming. Which brings me just to one other thing that I just want to update you on very quickly, and that is all request videos are in the process of getting worked on, but I have to be fresh in my head for them. The brain fog recently has caused some errors in some of my videos for which I profoundly apologize, and everybody that's been so gracious to point them out to me know that I appreciate you for doing so. While I do try to be as accurate as possible. I should know my limits and not do what I think I can do, knowing full well after five decades understanding where my weaknesses start to creep in when I have brain fog. So I appreciate your understanding. Thank you for your continued support. Now with that out of the way, I'm just going to be walking around the patio with you, going to be pointing some things out to you and just pan the camera over some of the orchids that really need to have some work done and hopefully you didn't see a little something something tucked away in a corner which is something very special that I really want to feature in a video all of its own. If you're going to continue watching the video and seeing what's going to be going on, while the east side is not complete, not just with the renantheras missing, I also need my Ancelia Africanas up on the top shelf here. This is for the most part the status quo as is. <laughs> I want to thank you so so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know if you have any questions and let me tell you that you are very much appreciated thank you for everything that you're doing if it's your first time here on the channel please please subscribe i would so appreciate that support like the video while you're at it as well that helps tremendously and know that i'll be back with more updates on what is going on with the orchids that are now here on the east side and elsewhere in the blooming alley the south side etc etc in future videos i wish you a wonderful day on the condition though please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.